Welcome to Lynn Creativity Knox All-Star Summer Designer Series. And we're here with our good friend Mark Montana who has something really great up his sleeve for us. Well, we're going to create three projects today with one Sizzix die. Amazing. It's the Daisy Blast and you can actually create an entire atmosphere for a party with just one die. I can't wait, let's get started. Mark's going to start off by showing us how to make this amazing etched bottle. Well, you know how much I love the dollar store, right? Oh, I know. You're the king of the dollar store. And I found these beautiful... I can't believe... Plastic top talk. bottles, right? Yes. At the dollar store. You could use these for all kinds of things like olive oil. But I think there is nothing more chic than to have lemonade or water oh, yes. on the table at, at a summer gathering. So I decided to sort of upstyle these with a little bit of etching and the Daisy Blast Sizzix die cut. And we're going to etch them with... Etch all. Yes, my favorite stuff. Okay, it's great. And you use their etch mask to die cut through the machine to get this. It was so easy. Let me show you what I did. We cut it out mm -hmm. and we used the reverse actually. So this is the outside. We didn't we didn't use the inside. We're gonna use this for another project. Oh, the outside, got you. So, so let's take this one out, which we've already punched out mm -hmm. to show them. So you're using the outside. We're using the outside mm -hmm. and we saved all the little bits, mm -hmm. all these little uh, petal details, just like that. And we stuck them on, it took a couple minutes, easy to do. But it doesn't take that long. Not at all. And then, you just grab the etch all. But how about our little dot in the middle? Oh, thank you for reminding me. A simple <laughs> circle, punch. hole punch, like that. Right that, right Perfect. there. Perfect. And we just put that right in the center, just to give it a little bit more detail. Oh, that's great. And what's so wonderful about this, the etching mask, is you just can rub it right down onto the glass, and it, boy, it sticks on really, really well, so none of that cream will go anywhere else on the bottle except for where you want it to go. It gives you a really crisp detail. It does. So you could even just cut something freehand, and it would be amazing. That's true, too. You know. All right, so I love this cream. It's so easy to use. Just put a nice thick layer on, just like that. And kind of thicker the better. Yeah, thicker the better. I like to build it once I get my first coat on. Mm -hmm. And you know that you can save this. I'm sure you do know that. Yeah. So when you're done with this project, you just scoop it back up and put it right in the jar. I think so you can get a lot of mileage out of this jar. A oh, lot gosh, of bottles, yeah. a lot of projects. You could do wine glasses, um, plates, make up an entire summer table setting. And we have a great little video on our website on how to do this because the next thing you're going to do is set your timer for 15 minutes and when the timer goes off, as Mark said, scoop rest of the etch all back into the jar and then just rinse it off with some cold water and voila. Perfect. So see how easy that and mm -hmm. the sponge made it very easy. You can leave that on for 15 minutes just like that. And this is what you have when you're done. I know, it's amazing. I just love it. And it's very chic, like you said. I think so too. I can't wait to see our next project. Back to the dollar store for Mark. This is amazing. So fun to make. I call these my tropical ombre 
summer dishes. You have totally hit it out of the park on this. I love these. And I went crazy with my Sizzix die cut. You had so much fun with this Daisy. You really did. It's really one of my favorite die cuts because it's big and it has a lot of detail mm -hmm. and it's it's so easy to use. So we use the etch-all mask mm -hmm. paper and we cut out three per plate. Okay, three per plate. And we just peel and stick on the underside of the plate. Because <laughs> I was asking him how he got all the little polka dots on the front of the plate. It's the detail in the I die know, cut. I'm just having it's a rough just day today. Terrific. Now, most plates have a little curve, mm -hmm. right? So, what you want to do is just give it a little cut on the side here. Oh, look at that. There you go. Right on the leaf, and it'll. Because when you're trying to go over a curve, it's just not going to lay flat for you. And by giving it the little cut, it gives that ease for it mm -hmm. to just to roll over the edge of the plate. You got it, just like that. Oh, perfect. Oh my God, that's so great. See how easy that was? So easy. So, yeah, those little cuts right there, just it made it overlap just enough so it that did. it goes on perfectly. Now what did you do? So I put three mm -hmm. flowers per plate. You okay. could do more, you could add a little dot if you wanted to, okay. it's up to you. And then I flipped it over and put it on some newspaper and this was so easy. I took some tropical spray paint, mm -hmm. two different colors. Started off with the light blue. Outside? Sprayed, outside, <laughs> yes, outside, not in the living room. I sprayed half of the plate, okay. and it's okay if it mists over. Mm -hmm. And then I took another color, and I sprayed the second half of the plate, and I it let it dry. So great. Super easy to do. Oh my gosh, and it really gives mm -hmm. you that ombre. Look at how, and you can see where the little bit of the overspray is, mm -hmm. and it's just so beautiful. Look at that. Wow, I just, I'll show you the back side so you can see what it looks on the purple and the pink. So fun. Boy, Mark, you are hitting it out of the park for this party. Mark, can you tell us about this fabulous project today? This is so easy to make, Anna. This is a flower ball and it's a take on a really expensive lamp. Oh, I've seen those kind. Yeah, they sell them at like Design Within Reach. Mm -hmm. But this is just made out of paper and a simple dollar store Chinese ball lantern. Wow, and you could use these for showers and weddings and home decor, so many fun things. Birthday parties, whatever, they're easy to make. And we used a Sizzix Big Shot and okay. only one die. Oh, that's and even simpler. You could change the colors, you could do the multicolor, whatever you wanted. Um, but I'm just gonna keep it really simple and, okay. and really chic and just use this plain white So you're card just stock. using cardstock? Yeah. Just a, a simple, heavy cardstock. And the great thing about these Sizzix dies is that you can cut more than one at a time. Yes, you can. I really like that. Mm -hmm. I like it too. So I just took the big shot and I took the Daisy Blast die, which mm -hmm. I really like because it's, it's big. It's big, it's fun. And it has a lot of detail. Let's put a... But it's also simple too. It's more of an elegant um, look to it. I like it because clustered together, it just looks amazing. It does. It's really cool. So if you were to do these in, say, like a ton of different colors, you could do a fun flower arrangement. You could lay them together and do a terrific uh, table runner placement. Oh, whatever yeah. Whatever you wanted. And, um, and I think that you can even cut some fabric with this stuff. You can cut fabric and felt, even leatherette. Really? Mm-hmm. It's amazing. I haven't played with that yet, but... He's going home and trying that I'm next. Go and figure it out. Yeah. So, and I know she went back twice. Sometimes when you're doing more than multiple pieces of paper, that just helps to get a really good cut. Perfect. Every time. Look at that. Let's just take that out. All the details are just perfect. So, we cut about, I'd say, about 60 of these. Oh, 60. Okay. Yeah. To, for this particular, because this is one of the larger. Chinese lanterns and um, I found a place that you can buy these all different sizes and all different colors for really a dollar each R oh okay so, you must share so simple really fun that is fun and what I did was I took my beacon three-in-one adhesive okay this stuff is terrific it dries quickly clear and it doesn't 
bubble. Sometimes the wetter glues will, you know, kind of bubble the paper. This, I love using this. Also really great for gems too, like plastic gems. Yeah. So, um, so I use this on this particular project because it was quick. And all I did was I just put a little dab in the center. Just, just a like little, that. so you did, it's not very much, just a little dab will do it. Yep. And I just went around, starting at the top and down to the bottom. Okay, so you didn't go around, you came down. I did, so that I could, you know, figure out. Oh, I mean, got you. Could, you. Okay. You could go willy nilly, um, you know, and super haphazard and just fill in the spots if you wanted to. It's up to you. Um, but this just kind of helped me keep it in order. And I'm really amazed for um, this glue just is holding up so well and quickly. It's a it's a terrific paper glue, uh, and I, I just I like it. I do too. Yeah. So just that simple, and this dries pretty quickly. And so you said 60, right? Uh, 60 oh, to 80. 60 or now to I can't 80. Remember. Okay. Now you've confused me. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> and let's just take a look how fabulous this is. And I love that you hung it with a satin ribbon. I'm just going to spin it around. If you wanted to put this outside, you could put a tea light inside of it oh, for an evening event. Oh, that's and a great just have idea. A, a really beautiful glow. Yeah, that would be fabulous. Well, Mark, thank you for bringing this fun and super simple project to us this week. It was my pleasure. We sure hope you've enjoyed When Creativity Knocks All Star Designer Summer Series. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and pin us on Pinterest. And sign up on our website to receive our weekly newsletter and be eligible to receive one of our weekly prize packages full of products from all of our series sponsors.